I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on what meta fields are, how you can add them into your Shopify store, and how you can edit them in bulk. Let's start off by giving you an overview of what meta fields are. They are a flexible way for your app or your store to add and store additional information, some examples are specifications, size charts, downloadable documents, release dates, images, or part numbers. As a Shopify merchant, one of their best features is that you can dynamically insert content into your store that can be based on information such as what you input for a product. Well, that can be a little technical, so let's go over how to add one. This will make it much more clear on what they can do. So let's start off from your Shopify admin, so you can follow along step by step. So we'll go over a simple example of adding care instructions to your store. This can be then dynamically inserted on the product page depending on the product. So to start, let's go into settings in the bottom left. Then from there, you wanna to head to custom data on the left-hand side, and we'll go into the product meta field so we can add this in. To quickly note, there are quite a few different pieces of data to specify parts of your stores that you can add these to from products, variants, collections, customers, orders, locations, pages, blogs, blog posts, and market. Additionally, there are also meta objects. We can create multi-field objects for customer content or data structure. Although these are often used for things such as cart upsells, size guides, and prop highlights. So if you've installed apps in your Shopify store, you will also create meta fields and meta objects. So let's go back into adding in our care guide meta field. So we'll click into product and we'll hit add definition in the top right here. So with our meta field, we get a few options. Although if you're adding what's called a standard definition, you won't have to edit these in. And standard definitions are defined by Shopify. And with these standard ones, you should be choosing them if they are available, because if they're available, all the themes and apps installed on your store will know what they are. It's kind of like having a definition for something. So if it meets the definition, it's a lot easier to handle. So we're going to search for what's called the care guide. This is a standard definition that Shopify has created and the description is instructions for taking care of product or apparel. I'll click on this here, creating the standard definition. And as we can see, there are no more options to edit and the product meta field key is created automatically. And we can see here it's automatically readable by apps and themes, which is what we mentioned previously. So to save this, we'll hit save. And now we can see the definition was created. There was a little bit of an error there as I had existing definitions. So I just removed that and we can see now everything has been created. Okay. So I'll hit exit here. And from there, I'll show you how to set the meta field for a specific product. And we'll go also how to edit it in bulk. So I'll hit exit here in the top right. And then you want to open up your product. There are a lot of things to keep track of when running a Shopify store and your accounting and profit calculations can be one of the hardest. So I want to show you our sponsor profit calc, the one click profit calculator that's going to make your calculations super simple. After a quick setup sequence, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations, as well as a ton of different detailed metrics. So you can make smarter business decisions. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts, such as Facebook, Google, Bing, Snapchat, Pinterest and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold options. It's going to give you a ton of time back and give you a very accurate picture on your store's true profit and performance. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. And there's also a link in the description below to access the same listing directly where you can get access to a 15 day free trial. So you can test drive everything for yourself. Let's first go over how you can edit a single product. So I'll click into framed canvas and to access your meta fields, you want to scroll down to the bottom of the page and from here we can see the meta fields and i can see our care guide one right here now to edit it i can click on it and add some information as this is a framed canvas i might say something along the lines of the product should not be washed. Now to save it, I'll go to save in the bottom right here and that will save the meta field for the care guide next let's go how you can edit them in bulk. So I'll click products on the top left hand side menu here again. And to edit them in bulk, I first want to select the products I want to edit. So I'll just select all of them here. Then from there, you should get a pop up and one of the options should be bulk edit. So I'll click on bulk edit. This will give me all the columns that I can edit for each product. Now, if you don't see your meta field here, you can then go and customize these columns in the top right. And if you scroll to the bottom, you should see the meta fields and you can see that care guide is checked off which is exactly what I'm looking for. You can then go to the framed canvas and I can see the care guide 
instructions I put in. Now, let's say I wanna go and add these quickly for the rest of my products. I could say something along the lines of wash with soap and cold water, and maybe I can copy and paste these into the other elements just to speed things up. So now each product on my store has a care guide text filled out. I'll hit save to save all those bulk edits. And so that's how you add it on one-off basis in bulk for all your product. Next, let's go and make sure that this dynamic text is inserted on my Shopify store. And to do so, we'll go to the theme section and we'll add a text section to include it in properly. But to do this, we'll go to online store on the left-hand side, and then we'll go to customize store in the middle. It should be a green button. Now, I think the best way to put these in will be on the product page. And the Don theme does have a default option or a default toggle for care instructions. So I'll insert the dynamic text into there. So first, I'll just click on a product. Let's click on our framed canvas. So let's scroll to the toggles that are created and I can see care instructions. And if I expand it, there's nothing in there. And so by adding this content in dynamically, for each of these products, the care instructions will show up without me having to add any more text manually. This is also a default product template. So it also means we can have customized instructions for each product rather than having an overall. But to dynamically add this in, let's click on our care instructions and on the right hand side, we'll see our editing option for this collapsible row. Now I want this content to be inserted dynamically into the row content as that's gonna be the description as I can see my heading and then the heart. And so I'm gonna go to these three circles that are stacked and it's gonna say insert a dynamic source. So I'll click on that and I can see dynamic content I can then insert. I can see things such as the title, the vendor, and here's what I'm looking for and that's the care guide. So I'll click on this here and we can see it has those three stacked circles again. So those indicate that it's gonna be dynamic content. So if I go down to the care instructions again and I go to expand it, I can now see the product should not be washed, which is the exact meta field that I filled out. So to save this in our template, I'll hit save. And now let's go test this out on another product to make sure that it's coming through directly. It's not gonna say the product should not be washed. So I'll click on this mini glue gun product. I will then scroll down, go to care instructions, expand it again, now I can see the instruction is wash with soap and cold water as it's gonna be dynamically inserted based on the product rather than some overall care instruction. So this is gonna conclude the video on a meta field tutorial. We went over how to create meta fields, how to edit them on a one-off basis, how to edit them in bulk, as well as how to integrate them in with your Shopify theme so the content is dynamically inserted. Now this was a basic example of meta fields. You can really do quite a bit with them as they are quite powerful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.